Though many tragedies have themes in common, it's the people in these stories that connect us the most. The Sorrell family is no different. The Sorrell Weed House was designed in 1841 by Irish architect Charles B. Klosky and built by the owner Francis Sorrell with hopes that the new mansion would bring his family comfort and joy it sadly fell short with multiple family members demise it all started when Lucinda Moxley Francis Sorrell's first wife died only five years into their marriage two years later Francis Sorrell married once more into the Moxley family this time to Lucinda's sister, Matilda. Just as everything seemed to be coming together, tragedy knocked once more. One evening, Matilda walked in on Francis and their slave, Molly, having an affair. Matilda, deeply shocked of what she saw, committed suicide by plunging to her death from the second story balcony bashing her head against the flagstone courtyard. A week later, Molly was found hanging in her slave quarters. Till this day, it is unknown what happened to Molly. Fact or fiction, we're about to find out. Here we have a few of the paranormal equipment that we are using for our investigation tonight at the Sorrell Weed House. First off, we have the SLS. And what it does is that it shoots off infrared dots to create and capture um, a formation that the naked eye cannot see. Secondly, we have batteries. A pack of 24 because we're gonna be locked up in that house for five hours. Not to say that we're gonna to need to use all 24, but you can never be too safe. The last thing you wanna do is walk into a room and realize that your flashlight isn't really working properly because of a bad battery. So always keep in mind, if there's one thing you wanna carry with you at all times, it's batteries. Third off, we have the audio recorder pretty pointless to walk into a haunted room, speak to a ghost, but not be able to hear what they have to say. So with this, you have a microphone to better capture the sound because a $900 phone doesn't capture sound as well as you like. One of my favorites, the EMF reader, always detects what's around you. Um, it does not detect how far it is from you, but it does detect any activity that's taking place. Uh, if there's a, a spirit nearby, it will detect it. Um, I guess the more energy that spirit is utilizing, um, the higher it will spike. So if it's at a green, activity is dormant. If it's at a red, then you know something's going down and you should most likely get out. Here we have a, uh, a tripod for my phone as well as a Rode microphone to again uh, capture even better audio. So it's a pretty conven convenient little thing to bring along with you and it also helps with the stabilization of the phone. And then another tripod for camera. So, all in all, it doesn't take much to go on a hunt for ghosts. It just takes some equipment, a bit expensive, but just a few important things and a lot of courage.
What's going on guys? We're leaving the hotel right now, headed to the Sorrel Weed House. Um, we're gonna be locked in from 11.30 to 4 a.m. in the morning. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm surviving, so He's I'm ready. ready. Eli with all his quick tips, I think we're gonna have enough uh, to handle once we get there. Oh yeah. Hopefully those quick tips come in handy. Yeah, we are making our way into one of Savannah's most haunted locations. Why does it feel like, why is everything even bigger? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's nighttime? It looks way bigger. Well, that's wild. They got the light on? Oh no, it's just outside. How long is it here? Huh? Where are we getting close? No, on the other side. Yeah. Yes, we are. Sweet. Are you excited? Yeah. Very. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let me um, make sure everything's clear and then I'll okay. come back and get you, okay? Okay, awesome. Thank you. was uh, exclusively for the enslaved during the time of the Sorrells. Um, this is where they did all their work. Okay, so the main kitchen's right over there. This is just more kitchen space as well. Uh, and one of our most famous spirits, you might remember this from the tour, because this guy, he's seen all the time, and he's been seen for a long time, um, which is really cool to me, because a lot of this stuff changes as time goes on. Um, but he, uh, he's pretty much the same. He's back here in this breezeway, and he's always described as being abnormally tall with indistinguishable features. So we call him Shadow Man because uh, he looks like a three-dimensional shadow. Uh, yeah, super fun guy. Um, <laughs> but he used to be seen like uh, like pacing back and forth or standing in the doorways. Mm -hmm. uh, and people do experience that today, but more often they're seeing him like darting around. They're just like seeing him quickly move. Um, so, so be on the lookout for him maybe. The chair over here, uh, we put that chair because uh, people wanted to meet Shadow Man. They wanted to spend some time down here and, and, and really focus on the breezeway. Um, and since we had put that chair, we've had a lot of reports. I mean, really varying stuff. It's not like, I guess it's not common, but when it happens, it stands out to people. Um, and, and so, and when I say common, I mean like weekly, because a lot of this stuff is like pretty frequent uh, reports. Um, but right back here, we, we've had people sit there and feel little things, like feel pressure on their chest, get the sensation they're being watched, feel like maybe I shouldn't be over here kind of thing. We've also had uh, more in-depth experiences. We've had it one where a gentleman exited the property pretty quickly, um, and he was in tears. And he said while he was over there, he felt as if every emotion he'd ever experienced came rushing upon him at once. Um, he was fine when he got outside, you know, but, but he didn't go back over there. Um, but we had another experience too that was more recent and it was of a tour guide. Because uh, we, we do staff investigations when it's slow sometimes for, for our staff members. And this tour guide was sitting in the chair and he said he started to feel weird, like, you know, just, mm, yeah, I kind of don't want to be over here anymore. And he said he went to go get up and he couldn't. He said he felt paralyzed and he, he couldn't make himself get out of the chair. Uh, and he panicked. Uh, it, was a, it was a rough time for him. I, I waited to get his permission before I shared that with people because uh, it really impacted him. He's an artist, he's a musician, and he made a song about it. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, so we've had more intense things, but like I said, also some little minor things as well over in the breezeway, especially the corner, especially the chair. This is the linen room. Um, you know, linen work done in here, maybe a secondary kitchen where the enslaved would have eaten their meal. Uh, this room, mostly it's like feelings, you okay. know, people feeling different when they cross the threshold. I've heard people uh, often say that they felt the, the room was heavier, heavy, heavy, heavy mm -hmm. is what they say. Um, 
We've also had some weird smells. You know, sometimes before we tell people on tours that it's a linen room, they'll say it smells like cleaning products, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, so just some, some random reports like that, kind of. Some weird pictures in the room as well. Um, so if you want to take some pictures in here. Um, this room is my favorite. Uh, this room is the most physically active in the mansion. So that means that we hear a lot of varying reports, you know, people seeing things, feeling things, um, hearing things. Um, but most of the time when there are experiences in this room, it is more physical in nature. We've had people feel touched, feel like somebody sat next to them. They turn and look, nobody's there. Um, a lot of reports of people feeling as though their feet and ankles are being touched, um, feeling like something brushed against their lower calf, feeling like their shoelaces are being played with. Uh, we recently, as in the past week, ran a tour where a gentleman on the tour had to retie his shoes three times inside of five minutes <laughs> um, because they kept being untied. Oh and a lot of times that that happens, it's on the sofa or it's in this area near the sofa. And we have a theory as to why that is. Um, there is known to be in this room a little girl. The reason this room is so active is perhaps due to its past as a lot of the paranormal activity experienced. Um, this room before the Civil War was used as a surgery and it was a trauma surgery, which for that, um, but uh, this room is the study. Um, I have the lights off, but I'll turn it on so you can see it. But watch your eyes. Okay. Um, this room is the study. This is where I'll say it's kind of parties um, which a lot of people think is interesting because with the paranormal you're dealing a lot with tragedy mm -hmm. you know bad things that have happened that are still happening or people are lingering about you know sometimes in pain things like that but these rooms you know you're in a paranormal party um, we are hearing uh, voices in the rooms laughter singing music being played um, the foyer out here a lot of the activity is kind of stemming from the parlors, it seems, where... Did you get scared? No. <laughs> uh, doors opening and closing, footsteps in this area, things of that nature. Uh, this door, it will close by itself at a certain point. So if you like go to open it and it starts closing, maybe try to debunk it first, because it, it does that, just so you're aware. Upstairs was the uh, quarters for the enslaved people up I'll there. Up there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, you'll see Molly's room. You, you guys are aware of Molly. And you're we like are. Feeling pretty they say it was, it was suicide, but was it really? We don't know. Okay. It's entirely speculation. Gotcha. Um, and it, it kind of is weird to me because I can't get consistent reports from mediums or investigations that leads us to have a theory as a staff. Really? Yeah, because like we'll have a sensitive come and be like, oh, we think that she killed herself. And then another sensitive come and says, oh, we think that somebody killed her. And it's like, it's all, it's like, it's so weird because other things will get consistent readings, yeah. but that we can't seem to pinpoint. Um, but also up there is a spirit of a slave named Sam or Samuel. 
I like him. All the mediums say he has good energy. He's usually one of the more communicative on the property. Some believe he reacts better uh, when you address him formally, like maybe as sir. Um, some believe he was a cook or liked to cook or, you know, they, people have talked to him about food. Um, so maybe try that. What are some of the things that Garrison's experienced when they go up there? Up there, a lot of times, and by a lot of times, I mean almost daily in the summer, you know, with so many people, uh, we will have a report of somebody walking up there and feeling like the floor is moving. They'll say they feel like they're on a ship. They'll feel like their equilibrium is off. Uh, oftentimes it happens as soon as they step foot on that floor up there, which is fascinating to me, yeah. Um, so a lot of that, people communicate with Molly and Sam Samuel um, up there. Um. All right, guys, well, we're here, and we're about to start our investigation. What time is it? Anybody got the time? Yeah, on time frame, uh, 12.02. 12.02, perfect. Mr. Francis Sorrell. I am here with a few friends of mine. If you'd like to introduce yourself, as we will, my name is Marco. I'm here with Eli and Devon. Hello. You have a beautiful study. Beautiful hall too with that. How much time would you usually spend in here? Is Matilda here? Is there anything you'd like to say to us? We are currently in the men's parlor. Parlor. Why don't you guys act like real gentlemen and uh, enjoy yourselves? I will sit down if you don't mind. Mr. Sorrell. Is this where you enjoyed your peaceful moments of whiskey and cigars? What did you guys usually discuss back in those days? I also say you can catch things in the mirrors and take photos. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, would you like a drink? I would love a drink. Maybe some uh, bourbon. Any gentlemen here know how to play the piano? They have a piano here for us to play. I would love to learn how to play the piano someday. Maybe you can show us, play a few notes, give us a few quick lessons. I would love to learn. You guys ready? Let's do it live. All right, let's head over to the women's parlor. Good evening and good morning. 
Well, since we're in the house, I think it would only be right to try to speak to, uh, Matilda. Matilda, are you in here with us? Matilda, are you here with us? If we can't hear anything, at least we We can't stop these can No. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Parlay. This area is nice. I don't think the woman's looks better than the men's. I don't think the woman's looks better than the men's. Is there anything you would like to say to us? Would you like a drink? What was your favorite drink? Did you drink often? Did you get a Gather the girls in your office and have tea, Say dog. Huh? Does this dog belong to anyone? I remember the guy telling us that this chair slammed into the desk one time. No. 
Can you move the chair? Is there anybody in here with us? Well, we just wanted to say hello. My name's Devon. I'm Eli. Here. We have Marco here. Were you a patient? Could you, hold on, let's ask it, let's see. Could you please turn the device off? Could you step away from it? Are you angry? Thank you. Wow. Dude, it's doing it again. Charlie said no. It's already recording. Well, it's recording already. Well, first off, I would just like to introduce my whole crew. I'm Devon. This is Eli. This is Marco. We've just come to talk with you guys and possibly communicate. If you guys would have us, we have a couple of... Okay, we'll take that as a yes. Where's the spirit box? I'm gonna lock it here. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, wow. As well, dude. the same thing if you totally. want to just change the range but other than that did you change the range that you said no i didn't touch it i'm going to do the first thing first like you said and then if it does the thing again then i'll change it Do you need any assistance, Doc? We're only here to help. Bro, did y'all just hear that? What? This? No, it sounded like the door. No, bro, no. Is there anybody in there? 
Or that jump was an opener before. Was it, Marco? The last time you know? Nah. Oh, it doesn't even lock, though. It, it sounded like this. No, open it even more. If you're in here, can you knock back? That one's open. That one doesn't even have a brick on the bottom. How did this get low all of a sudden? Bro. Let me check it. No, don't touch it. Do you need our help? Do you need our help? Do you need our help? How many patients would you say you worked on, Dr. Frank? Can you say that one more time? It's very like voice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's why I want to pull it out. See if it's louder. Is it true that over fifty percent of your patients Passed. died? Did you work on your patients alone, or did you have other people to help you? Other doctors, nurses. See, so you guys cooked a lot in here. We ate meals. I like okay, the heat. Okay. Did you guys uh, make anything good for me? You want to grab the recorder, Marco? Where is it? It's over there. Is there anybody in this room that would like to talk with us? Is this our bedroom? Uh, yeah. No, that's her battery that she gave for the rim bot. Okay. I might just be outside. It's not like it's coming from outside. We are in the, what is this, the kitchen? Yes. We're in the kitchen. Downstairs yeah, sleep. That's what it's cooked. In the basement. Why don't you just stand around here, you know, so I can actually catch both of you guys talking to it and see if we can catch anything with the rim bot. Did you hear that? Yeah. I wasn't over there. That was behind us. The bottom? Yes. I swear it was over here. I just heard something. It's out here, Eli. Same area. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be on this one. Is there anybody here? Is there anyone here? Sitting in this chair. I'm sorry, we have another room. Oh. Oh, go back. Can you tell us your name, please?
Was there anything specific you like to cook? If you could, if there's anything you did cook that you really enjoyed, maybe you can light up a color. We'd love to try some. Or at least know what it was. Could you make it stop so we could ask you another question? Why don't you try the flashlight? Maybe we can get it to do it with the flashlight. Are you able to make the light flicker? Maybe turn it off? Hey. You like playing with the light better? Could you turn the light completely off to let us know that you're in here with us? Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well. Did you like it in here? Cooking at least. Turn the light off if you liked it in here. Did you not like it in here? I can't tell, is it on anymore? Was this, was this your favorite room of the house? The kitchen? If you could turn the flashlight off, did you love to cook? Footsteps in there. I did too. Here, grab the faucet. Grab the board. I guess we can be in here. Did you grab it? You didn't grab the bag, did you? Alright, that's fine. We'll grab it. Now put this on the chair. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this light on the chair. If you are here, we can feel use free it. to play around with it. Turn it off, turn it on. Ooh. Does it just turn on? It just. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Okay. What? Get that back up. Maybe I'm going to risk the block. Hold on, let's do one thing at a time. You're just like sprinkling baby powder all the time. Like, dude, that's not a, um, we gotta do like a trail or something. What are you doing? No, oh, wait. shoot. What, what? I don't know, I thought there was something in the stuff that he just threw. Alright, turn it off so we can catch the Yeah. If you're in here, turn the light off. Play with it. Make it flicker.
Cerón. Well, we just set up the SLS and we're gonna set the room pod in there as well as the um, recorder. You need to press record, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me just check Okay. Dude, there's somebody right beside you. What the, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> bro, there was somebody right there, bro. It was like right when you came out of the doorway. I promise, bro. Look, 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 look. Hold this camera. Hold the camera, Eli. Hold the camera. Here, hold the camera. You got it? Yes. But Marco scared me because I didn't not like I'm sitting there looking at the SLS and I'm seeing freaking the stick figure still there. In the, what the fuck? Come out the door, see if you can recreate what happened. Maybe it was just the SLS messing up trying to graph you. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. Just walk towards me. It's the same way you did just a minute ago. No, it was, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. Go ahead. Yeah, no, dude. Would you like to speak with us? What the heck, dude? Is that something big? Like, wow, why did it just shut off? I'm leaving. Can we go? No. Bro, why did it just shut off, though? What the heck, man? That thing, like, the figure that was on there was bigger than the other one. What was that? I don't know. It wasn't me. Definitely. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I just don't want roaches. You think know. it was a roach? No, nah, it wasn't. It, it wasn't, but it just felt like I would like a tickle. I'll be damned. I'll be more scared than the ghosts. I'm more afraid of roaches than the... I am of ghosts. Bro. How do you get this thing to turn back on? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. You know what time it is too, right? I'm about to leave. Right I'm about to leave. <laughs> I'm for real. I'm about to leave. I'm done. Bro. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck. We did this shit funny tomorrow. All right, bro. Cool. Just about yeah, really? Oh, wow. Nah, fuck you. I'm not staying here. Y'all got. What the fuck? I need to see pop up. I need to see what's going on. Fuck this. I'm about to see myself out the door. It's you turning off the power, dude. Good. No, you don't want to fucking be seen. This? Is the battery? It's dead. Was it better than you or was it? I mean, it should be charged, but I think it's dead if it's doing that. <laughs> 